Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and um, this is a little book review. Um, I've kind of fallen off the wagon with my reading, it was going quite well but it's uh, slowed, stopped shall we say. But um, I have read um, one book and I am halfway through another book. So this is Pigeon Pie by Nancy Mitford and actually the other book that I'm halfway through is called The Blessing which is also by Nancy Mitford. So I was going to do a video where I reviewed both of them because I thought that you know, kind of made sense, but I've just stopped reading. So, um, I'll just talk about mostly Pigeon Pie. Um, so Pigeon Pie was, um, it says, first published just four days before the war, war turned hot in May 1940. So I didn't realise this until I actually read the book, but um, just after the Second World War was announced, declared um, in Britain, um, the, everyone was kind of geared up for war and then I guess nothing really happened in Britain um, so it was described as the phony war and so this book is kind of set in that phony war period about um, I guess that feeling of something is going to come, something is happening but then also that kind of almost disappointment or frustration that nothing has happened yet and having to sort of create um, drama um, it's actually, there's actually a little note at the beginning of the book by Nancy Mitford, so this was written in 1951 and it says, I hope that anyone who is kind enough to read it in a second edition will remember that it was written before Christmas 1939, published on the 6th of May 1940, it was an early and unimportant casualty of the real war which was then beginning. So I'm going to assume that the book was published and then didn't actually sell very well in the first edition because of the timing um, that it was published when the Second World War had then started to turn hot, as it were. Um, so I do like Nancy Mitford. Um, she's one of the Mitford family, which is quite an interesting uh, family if you want to Google them. Some of them supported Hitler, some were socialists. The whole, the whole political range is there within that family. Um, so in Pigeon Pie, um, Sophia Garfield is a wealthy uh, young woman who is married to a man that she liked, but they're not, they don't really have a like loving relationship, although she's kind of fond of him. She's having an open affair with another man who lives with them. Her husband is having a relationship with another woman who... Um, God, I can't remember what the name of the organisation is now, but um, the other woman is um, linked to this organisation, this political organisation that um, they keep having meetings in their big house. Her husband has to go away um, to America, I think, for like business, and then her her lover um, signs up and goes away for like army training, so it kind of leaves her alone, and then she gets kind of pulled into or actively seeks out this kind of um, spy saga where her, um, one of her relatives has apparently been um, killed uh, but then he is found in Germany doing um, pro-German polit uh, political propaganda um, there's, she's also volunteering at like a medical station which seems to be somewhat in involved and then her maid turns up uh, dead in the sewers and like there's just loads going on uh, but it's only like 200 pages long um, but uh, I quite enjoyed it I don't think I'm doing it any justice in my terrible review but I do recommend it if you can get a hold of a copy I just got this given to me by my mum so um, the other book uh, The Blessing that I've moved on to now I'm halfway through and then I just kind of stopped with my reading um, I'm liking it less because I really dislike one of the main characters, um, but I need to persevere with it. So, um, my son is coming downstairs. Uh, so that's it for the video. So, like if you've liked, leave a comment and subscribe.